regular that's coconut mocha yeah I, maybe i'll just do the coconut mocha maybe i have to open a mocha because whatever <laughs> um so hubby was just telling me that they think let me come over here real quick they think that they know well, not that they think that they know, but they know what started the forest fire. So remember how the speculations were, um, you know, that it was the lightning or whatever. And that seemed pretty logical and reasonable, to be completely honest. So I guess, like, everybody, like, they had thought that because of the thunderstorms or whatever. But they said, like, um, I guess upon further investigation... And upon where it started from because they said that there was a missing person and I think the media made it like a hiker or something but they were found but apparently the missing person the missing person was the arsonist so apparently um over on the one road uh near where it actually started was um i guess there um is a family who has um a, a, their son is on the spectrum and i guess he's older and kind of a pyro um according to sources and um he got mad at mom and dad and ran away from home. Well, when he ran away, um, he ran, this isn't the first time that he's ran away from home either. Um, he ran away from home and I guess he is the one who started the fire in the woods because he was mad at his mom and dad so when he ran away he ran down into the into the forest into the woods and <clears throat> i don't know so the forest fire was an intent was intentionally set but wasn't expected to get as big as it was so when they said there was a missing person we all just thought it was a hiker but no it was actually the autistic child on the spectrum apparently he's older as a he's a teenager but just because he's a teenager and he's on the spectrum even though he isn't a certain physical age he is not that mentally so um with some children so he uh got mad they found him because they did say that he was found um but yeah it wasn't from a lightning strike it was definitely from someone intentionally setting it so so i don't know so here's the next thing the hubby was saying he's like but here's the thing because he is on the spectrum So because he's on the spectrum, who goes to jail? Who goes to court? Because he's going to be labeled an arsonist. And then it's like, because he's not of right mind, so to speak, which they know. I worked with autistic children long enough. They may not be able to communicate, but that's their way of communicating. And they are smart. You can be like, oh, he doesn't know what he's know he's doing knows exactly what he's doing. If people want a fucking reaction, same with autistic children, they're gonna get a reaction one way or another. They may not be able to verbally express, but so yeah. But anyway. Um 
But yeah, so the forest fire was intentionally set by, an, by a teenager on the spectrum. Like I said, they didn't go into specifics about how severe or not severe he is on the spectrum. But, but yeah, so he was, he was on the spectrum. Wild. So he's the one who set the forest fire. And it could have gotten a lot worse. Just like, I'm like, what is wrong with people? First of all, I hate fire. I don't like fire. I've said this openly. Like, it is one of my biggest fucking fears. So, no bueno. But, like, like with the, the house fire up the road that took out those row homes, it was three row homes. The man got pissed off because the girlfriend kicked him out so he set her garage on fire which caused a massive fucking thing like three other homes were taking out taking taken out from your act of insanity like and now you're going to jail jail for arson like why people don't fucking think so yeah but <clears throat> my belly's hurting a little bit no bueno no bueno I'm cold it says it's 72 but it is so mad, like sticky and gross <sighs> All right. Well, I'm going to go finish editing and get it uploaded. And I, oof. And I will see you guys after bed. Okay, so I have taken out some food. I took this out for hubby um just to make whatever beef stuff for his meals. I took out two things of ground turkey because I'm going to make a turkey meatloaf tonight because that is considered a soft food and it's turkey um hamburgers um hubby said he's been craving hamburgers um i took out these to peel and to snack on i'm also going to make i took out some imitation crab meat because this is considered a soft food so i took some of that out i'll make some like salad and there's also a recipe to like put them and make like crab chips I also had a um, turkey breast lunch meat thing in the freezer, so I took that out for sandwiches and stuff, and I still had a thing of Italian dry salami, so I took that as well for my lunches and stuff this week. So yeah, I took all that out, and it is getting ready. We have all kinds of thunderstorm warnings and everything out, so it is getting ready. Storm is butt off. Taking, oh, I take my son his, because I know he did, did not eat it. Our daily focus CBD gummy. They're disgusting. They taste absolutely horrible. I guess unless you like raspberry. They're disgusting. Ooh, she nasty looking. Nasty, nasty. What is up, friends? Don't forget to check out today's live stream. Look for this thumbnail. As you can see, I put all the topics in the thumbnail so you know what was covered on the live. Can't wait to see you there. Don't forget to give it a like. What is up, friends? It is late. <laughs> I um, actually did two hours of therapy today, like a good girl. Um, the first hour, I uh, started editing for my Race Bakes video um, of the cupcakes I did the other day. And so I got all my cards and everything sorted out and um so i got that done and then i had started falling asleep i was texting my one girlfriend and then i started getting sleepy and i only had like a few minutes left and i said you know what 
I'm taking a motherfucking nap. I set it for another hour. And I went off to La La Land. So I'm just cleaning off the counters real quick because I'm fixing to make dinner. Now, I am making me, Wifey, and Brayden keto meatloaf cups. Hubby's like, I don't want that fucking shit. I never want to eat turkey. I never want to eat this. I was like, but you ate turkey when I couldn't eat beef. He's like, I didn't have a choice. I'm like, you never really had a choice. He's like, well, you know what else wifey can eat that you can't cook? And I was like, what? He's like, fish. I'm like, He's like, I will leave written instructions for you. He's like, you can't fuck it up. I was like, nope. I was like, she wants fish. You can fucking cook it. I'm not cooking it. I don't like cooking fish. Like, I know. Like, I'm still not the best. Um... Uh, steak person either I'll air fry it when I made that air fryer steak he's like that's the best steak I have you have ever made it is so good I was like oh thank you air fryer all right so what I'm doing is I'm taking two different ground turkeys it's both ground turkey but you know like the ones in these rolls so this one is the um Kirkwood all natural um this is from aldi and then this was like fresh from the butcher department i guess so um i'm mixing them because the stuff in the rolls are good but it's like so fine like it's just like really really fine you know what i mean like just a little bit too brown but that's okay i closed my new room or my stand ring. I didn't close my stand goal yet. It's because I was sitting for a lot today. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got everything. So I have my ground turkey here. I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sister sauce. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I don't I don't measure. I've told you guys that before. I don't measure anything. I'm going to add some of this roasted garlic hardwood smoked flavor so I'm gonna add some of that in there then we're gonna add some minced onion because I would do fresh but I don't know if wifey can handle it yet so we're just gonna put minced onion in there of course some black pepper okay and then something that I'm not supposed to be eating which is paprika if you watch the live stream from today towards the end we did like the autoimmune disease diet and paprika was actually one of them okay so we got that in and now I'm gonna add some almond flour said like a third cup or something like that but I'm just gonna add enough put a couple spoonfuls in there oh yeah by the way it's like keto if you didn't notice <laughs> so yeah some almond flour I'm gonna add two eggs because protein and we need to bind a lot together here. Okay. And last but not least, I'm gonna add some shredded cheese in here. I'm just gonna put, cause I feel like can't go wrong with shredded cheese. I put two handfuls of that shit in there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we got our shredded cheese. Let me flip these burgers real quick. Hubby's burgers. Because I got them cooking over here. Oh, I don't have my little trivet. 
Okay. So now, all right, let me clean this up real quick. Okay. Now, it's time to get down dirty and mix all this shit up. We got the eggs over on this side. Is this like ASMR? Like dinner ASMR? Is this like grossing people out? And do pretty baby. And now, sir. Psst, 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 psst. Oh, is that how you mix the meat, sir? You get your hands in there? Oh, nice and ready. <laughs> you do like to get dirty. <laughs> hmm. All right, I think I might need, well, I don't know, cause it's, do I, should I put a little bit more? Maybe I should be scoop from the bottom. Does that sound gross? The meat. <laughs> All right, let me wash my hands real quick. Piece of cheese, throw it in there. All right, now we got a cake pan. Spray it with some Pam. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my folk. My folk. And then I'm literally just gonna spoon them in here, pack it down a little bit. And then just fill these up. Can you guys see? Probably not. You guys can see now. So yeah, I'm just like making sure they're all the way down to the bottom. Just kind of patting them down on top. Because they're going to shrink anyway, so. I'm just fill these up. That's like a little too well, that's whatever. If I had if I don't have enough, then I'll take some off some of the tops. Like that one is a little bit too full. Actually, I should make some smaller ones for wifey anyway. So just because wifey can't eat that much. All right, hold on here. I still got some, so. I just wanted to make sure I had enough for 12. I probably got more than enough for more than 12. Sometimes you 
just don't know. I know I scooped that stuff off, but I guess I really didn't need to. Okay, I'll just have a little bit more. Um, I'll split it between you and put some more back on. They're probably like, oh, Ray. Okay. All right, so that is all of the ground meat mixture. So now I'm just gonna top with some Italian seasoning. Okay. And now I'm gonna bake these. I already have the oven preheated to 350 and I'm gonna bake them. I'm gonna check them in like 30 minutes and then see where we're at. So the next thing I'm gonna make, I'm just making, oh, I gotta get that in a, I'm just making a small bowl because I don't know if everybody's gonna like it or what, so to go with dinner, I need to put these in the microwave. It's um, Parmesan and chives mashed cauliflower to go with our keto um, meat. You just pull the top up, right? Um, cut a slit or film and peel that corner. There, I cut a slit and peel that corner. What's the point in doing Like, okay. There, put it on the microwave for two minutes. I'm going to be making a creamy crab salad using imitation crab meat. I don't mind imitation crab meat. It's healthy and I think it tastes fine. I can eat it just as a snack because I was actually nauseous on it earlier. And Brayden was like, what are you eating? It's like, mind your business. So I have a little bag. I have a big thing. Like I buy, when, if you've watched my Safeway four for 20 meal deals, sometimes I get like a whole big package of this. And um, I just use that. And so I'm just kind of chopping some of it up in the bowl while I talk to you guys for a minute. Nothing really to see here. Um, but yeah, I don't mind. So there's actually a recipe. I don't know if you guys watch Corey B. I used to watch Corey B all the time. Before he had kids, like when he was still with his, like when they were just girlfriend, boyfriend. I don't even know if they're married or, or yet or not. I don't know. But I've watched Corey B for a long time. And I'm so glad he's like blown up into something like totally different now. It's like so funny. I used to watch him. And, um, but he's like a big TikToker now. And uh, he responds to like, I love his puns. They're so freaking funny. Um, okay, first thing I'm gonna add is some Old Bay. Cause hello, Maryland. It's so funny. Like when I hear people say something about Old Bay, I'm like, are you from Maryland? Are you from Balt, Baltimore? I don't feel like chopping onion, so I'm using minced onion and garlic. But yes, yeah, so I used to, so Corey V did this. He reacted to this TikTok where the guy took imitation crab meat, seasoned it, and then put it in the air fryer and made these like chips. So that's kind of what I want to do. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of woo woo sauce in here. If I, can, I need to add lemon juice to the list. A little bit of lemon juice, not a lot. And I'm gonna add a little bit 
of sour cream. I don't really, I need to add sour cream to the list as well. Because I put sour cream in. Actually, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to do it right now. Because otherwise, I will fucking forget. Okay, so... I put the mashed cauliflower back in the microwave. Now I'm adding some mayonnaise. And I add a little bit of cream cheese. I have the fat free cream cheese. Ugh. I hate when I do that. Oh, my aching ass. I don't want to do that. I hate that. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of cream cheese in here. It said like, um, I guess if you're doing a big batch, it said four ounces. So I'm just doing two ounces. And then you just mix it up. I'm gonna smoosh the cream cheese up against the side and then scrape it in there. Mix it up, mix it up. I hear you, microwave. You wanna beep at me? All right. This is just kind of simple. Normally, I would put like celery, I'd put real garlic, real onion, I'd put peppers in it. But because we don't know what wifey's tummy's gonna do, I can't do all that right now. So this is kind of just basic bitch crab salad. And I tried to zhuzh it up as much as I could. So there's my crab salad. All right, let me do a little taste arena. It's good. It's decent. Oh. Yeah. We're good. That's good. No, that is I'm like, it's missing, but I'm like, right. It's fine. I know it don't have the crunch and stuff like I like and all the other flavors and seasonings but it'll do okay so I'm gonna put that there for now all right let me get these we have eight minutes left on the uh, cups let me take this out this movie. I know, so you guys are like up and down all around town. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Oops. Okay. We got our mashed cauliflower. Okay. I'm like, I'm sorry, but ain't nobody got time to be like boiling cauliflower and doing all the stuff. So I don't even feel like I'm gonna try to get this off, but Okay, there we go. Ain't nobody got time for all that. Okay. So, this is just sour cream. Because what I like to do is just to kind of give it a little bit more juice. Not juice, but just to kind of not thicken it. But So, this is like a Bob Evans version. 
All right. I'm gonna tie, taste, taste. Y'all hear me? I was like, I'm all taste, taste. I'm gonna taste, taste it. Oh, it's actually pretty delightful. These pepper though. I, I'm the black pepper bitch. Like I will put black pepper on every motherfucking thing. Mm. That's actually really good. So I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper. And because it's Parmesan, I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. All right, a little grated Parmesan. Bam. I think the locals are starting to feel like it's getting close to dinner. I hear them stirring. Braden's done been in here twice looking. And I'm like, Braden, if you don't fuck all the way off. <laughs> I hate that I'm in the kitchen and I'm doing rude. Like, I get you're hungry, but I want to say something, but because even the other one who's supposed to be eating soft foods and is going to eat soft foods is like, is dinner ready? Like, bitch, I thought we were past that era now. I thought we were past that era. All right, one more little taste test of Marie. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. I think it's good anyway. Okay. I got four minutes till the cups come up before I take them out and check them. And then I'm going to put this in bowls and or in a bowl and then put it in the fridge. All right. So I just took these out of the oven. We have a little bit of chai spillage, but for the most part, they look pretty delicious. All right, friends, dinner is served. So I'm gonna break this in half and show y'all the inside. And I'm gonna do a little taste test of Rooney. Let's do a little, hubby came downstairs, he's like, it stinks down here. What the hell are you making? I said, I was making those turkey meatloaf cups. That's disgusting. I was like, oh, when I made mashed cauliflower. Ugh fucking healthy food just take your burgers and shut the fuck up <laughs> okay so mm. all right that was a cauliflower let's taste gum here is the turkey meatloaf I'm not used to this new kind of meatloaf because I like I like the fresh garlic, the onions. I like all the vegetables in it. Why if you just pass me? What's this mushy stuff on the side? Mashed cauliflower. Some days I just can't. It's chive and parmesan, and I added sour cream to it. I swear to God. Mm. So delicious. I think it's that Bob Evans mashed cauliflower is so good take a little i got my meatloaf under there Chew 25 times, put your fork down. That's what they taught us. I'm technically not supposed to drink, but. 
Okay. I'm gonna put the rest of these little cups in a Tupperware. I gotta put Hubby's other burger he took too for dinner tonight. Kelly, you okay? And then I'm going to, that's really good. Mm. Okay. 10 out of 10 recommend. If you guys ever make this, let me know and tell me what you think. Like you don't have to follow my recipe to a T. But let me know if anybody ever makes this stuff. I don't know. I just do it because it's fun. I like to share. Because some people is just like, and I'm like the same way. Like, I'm like, what the hell are you make for? You cook dinner every day. What the hell else? And if you're picky eaters like we are, not really picky. But we don't like all that extra different kinds of meat like fish or... We don't really do pork often. Like we don't really do any of that. So it's like, I mean, hubby likes pork, but I don't eat, like if I eat a pork chop, it seriously has to be like one of those thin pork chops. And then it's like, hubby likes ham. I'm okay with ham, but I really, I, I like fake ham. Believe it or not, turkey ham is my favorite. And Hubby's like, there's no such thing as turkey ham. I'm like, it's so good. It's like, it's turkey brined in ham juice stuff. It's turkey ham. He's like, there's no such thing as turkey ham. I'm like, it's so good. But I like turkey ham. <laughs> the Jenny O brand. And then, um... Oh, I need to start marinating those too. I'm gonna make hubby something with those bush Um, I don't think I really need this big container. See, I'm already getting full. I mean, I've been noshing a little bit while I was cooking, but nothing nearly. I literally, everything I noshed on was on camera. Um, but yeah, he's so funny because I'm like there's no we used to get to fight it was like the funniest arguments like turkey ham there's no such thing as a turkey ham and I'm like it's a ham it's a turkey brined with ham stuff there's no such thing and we would just get in so many arguments about it so not arguments but like little play fights he's like that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard of a turkey ham because when I would make, there was a long time for years, like 15 years, I didn't eat beef because I had a pancreatitis attack and um, the last thing I ate was beef and it was, the, the doctors had told me in the ER that my body couldn't handle it and like my body couldn't process, it was too hard of a red meat for my body to process which is why my pancreas went all crazy. And the pain was horrendous. Like I will never like forget that night. Like it was horrible. Let me see. Uh, Brayden, do you want this last turkey cupcake? I can't get it in a bowl. This, okay, this last meatloaf cupcake. Okay, come here, bring me your plate, please. Um. But yeah, so I was having pancreas issues and that was the night they did so many tests to me. Oh my God, that was like one of the fucking worst nights of my life. One, I was, it felt like an inner tube was like, I felt like my insides were just expanding. I was in the ER for hours. Here, hold on, cause my camera, I'm, okay. Oh, okay. You're welcome. I was just packing them up. So, um, so yeah. I, uh, 
went to the ER because I had pain. Like I ate, I ate this steak or beef sausage. It was literally like a sausage, but it was like, it was all beef. And for it to be sausage and fuck me up, I knew that like it had to be serious. Like I had noticed when I ate beef before, like I would get a little like, mm, like my stomach would hurt, but I never put like two and two together. And then, um, I'm just gonna make a little bit more chai. Um, I never really put two and two together. So, um, I ate this like beef sausage. It was a kielbasa, like I literally, and here's the thing, I wasn't even that heavy back then, but I ate the whole sausage, but that was my whole dinner. Like, that's all I had for dinner. Like, there was a point in time where I was just eating canned green beans. Somebody at the church or something had, um, my girlfriend put my name on a list because, like, I was literally, from working at the school, I only made $800 a month. My rent was four, and then I only had $400 to do whatever with. So each week I paid my landlord 200 bucks and then that would leave me with like a hundred and something to almost $200 for groceries and my phone bill and everything else that I had to pay. And um, that's all I had. And um, there were times, you know, that um, I was like literally eating cans of green beans for dinner like that's all I would have I'd like hook them up and you know whatever I showed I think I've showed pictures of my little teeny tiny apartment before but yeah because like I didn't have a stove I had like a little hot plate I didn't have any pots or pans like the lady that I cleaned for she paid me $25 to clean her fucking dirty ass house but it was like $25 and my one girlfriend gave me all her clothes and some were like too tight and stuff. Like I had like a lot of clothes, but like I made it. It was just me. Like I had to take care of me and my cat. So I had to buy cat litter and cat food. That's all I had was me and my cat. And that was it. And I really didn't have money for stuff, extra stuff. Oh, Luna, excuse me. May I sit in my chair, please? She's like, bitch, you can fuck all the way off. Excuse me. Oh, um, Luna, can I please have my chair? Can I have my chair, please? Is that a, is that a hard no? Luna. Luna, may I have my chair? Can I have my chair? Can I have my chair? I don't want to squirt you. Can I have my chair? Here, I'll just squirt the bed. <laughs> I just want to sit down and eat my food and have a story time. But my pancreatitis. Horror story. So, anyway. So I eat the sausage. Like I said, I ate the whole thing because that's all I had like all that day to eat. I probably ate too fast too. Excuse me. Anyway. So I started like feeling weird and I was like in some pain. Like I was hurting. I was like, what the hell, you know? I'm like, what's going on? So, sorry. So I go to the hospital. Well, I wasn't trying to go, but like the pain was getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And I'm like in tears and I like talking to my girlfriend. She's like, Ray, take your ass to the goddamn hospital. She's like, seriously, just go, just go to the hospital. I'm like, I don't want to go, blah, blah, blah. So finally she takes me and she drops me off. And at the time, if you didn't drive or whatever, um, you could get vouchers. 
and you can get like a cab voucher and they would send you home or whatever and um that was like when you were at the hospital and uh so I was like okay I think I got there at like nine o'clock and um I was in so much pain in the ER like I was like like the one nurse like I was literally laying on the floor in the fetal position and the nurse came over and she's like excuse me miss she's like I'm gonna have to ask you to get up off the floor and um I was like I can't I said I'm in so much pain and she's like um have you been seen in triage and I was like I don't even remember when it was or whatever. Oh yeah, hours had passed. I got, like I said, not at nine o'clock. I didn't get taken back or seen until one o'clock in the morning. So I go back and they're like, what's the problem? And they're like, you can't be, are you pregnant? And I was like, no. That was their first thing. I'm like, is there bleeding? Is there this? Is there that? I'm like, no. And they're like, okay. And um, so... I'm like, okay. And they take me back, finally. And then they start doing all these tests. They start running, like, all these tests on me. And I'm like, okay, cool. It's about fucking time. They do all these tests. They do these x-rays. I'm in, the, like, the CAT scan machine. Um, they did an ultrasound. They did all this stuff. So... The doctor, mind you now, this is 4 o'clock in the morning now, by now. I'm, like, in and out of sleep. I'm, like, groggy. I have no idea what's going on. And I was, like, sleeping but really couldn't sleep. You guys know how it is. You're at the hospital. You're, like, I mean, can you really fucking sleep? So um, the nurse comes in and she's, like, um, she goes, so Miss Ray, she's, like, I have good news we found out what is causing your stomach issues and I was like okay she's like you are having a pancreatitis episode she's like um what was the last thing you ate and so I told her I was like I had you know the beef sausage blah 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 she's like okay so it's beef she's like your body can't process beef right now she's like your body is having a hard time she's like you know blah 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 she's like luckily this will pass you know there's some diets that you can do to kind of help your pancreas you know this is this, that and the third blah 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 blah. I was like oh okay so that's what I that's all I thought it was but then she's like but we happen to notice and discover some other issues and I'm like other issues she's like yeah and that's when she was like um you also have GERD She's like, you also have um, a hiatal hernia. She says you have your blood work and then this and that. You have a very fatty liver. Um, your liver is like horrible. Um, GERD, the pancreatitis, like all the shit. Like I had a stack of papers when I left. She's like, your health is not good at all, basically. She's kind of just telling me like you are fucked up girlfriend and you're so young I think I was like 27 28 and um she, and at that time I was smoking I was a smoker and actually funny fact um that night before I went to the hospital, I smoked my last cigarette. And I was like, I'll just have to get more cigarettes, like, whenever. I was like, if my girlfriend goes out, maybe I'll ask her to grab me some. And, um, of course, you know how they give you the whole spiel about how smoking, you know, blah, 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 and, like, whatever. And, of course, obesity and, you know, all that shit. So, I'm like, okay. But she was like... She was like, um, so, here's a GERD diet, here's this, here's that. She's like, I want you to go on a liquid diet. So that was my first time I went on a liquid diet. I went on a liquid diet for like two weeks. I was only supposed to do it for one week. I went on a liquid diet for two weeks. I was afraid to eat anything. 
I wasn't even like at that time I didn't even know anything about like protein shakes or um protein waters or anything I literally was just drinking water and eating jello that's all I was doing seriously I was drinking broth I was literally just drinking broth um water protein shakes like that's it I mean no protein shakes because I didn't know anything about protein shakes sorry didn't need to give false information so I was like oh my god like I was like what the hell you know so I was pretty I was pretty messed up and then I went on like this whole diet that was like the worst thing ever so I stopped smoking actually I think it was I know it was March 7th was it 2007 I don't think it was 2007 was it I think it was 2009 because I got pregnant with Brayden in 2009 so I had quit smoking when I became pregnant, like before I became pregnant with him. So there was that. Oh. Hmm, but yeah, it was wild. That was awful. And then, actually, because hubby moved in with me. And then when hubby moved in with me back in May, so March, all this had went down. I had lost, of course, a tremendous amount of weight. So hubby didn't even see me, like, for a while. So he didn't even like see me for a good while. And uh, when he came home, he was like, from that place. He was like, oh my God. Because March, April, May, I was hardly eating. I was scared to eat. Anything I ate. It was awful. I started walking. I was swimming every day. But in July that year, I actually ended up pregnant with my first baby. But I started slipping because hubby was home and my diet started getting messed up because he's like, you know, it's been a long time since I've had this, this, and this to eat, and I really want this, and I want that, and so I started cooking for him because it was a long time before, like, he hadn't really had any, like, good food, like, real meals or anything, so I was like, oh, okay, you know, so I was like, whatever, and um, I started cooking, like, good shit for him, and which led to me falling off and in July we had a cookout at my house and we got into a fight over hot dogs in the grill I don't know why I forget I will never forget this and I was like an emotional wreck I was doing summer school and I was an emotional wreck over this fucking grill so he finally came in and I remember he apologized very rare if I only knew then what I knew now he came in and he apologized and he was like um i'm sorry i acted like an asshole you know i didn't mean to make you upset you're right it was just fucking hot dogs on the grill you know blah 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 you know this is new for both of us you know we're still learning one another getting to know one another blah 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 i was like okay whatever i'm fine you know and then he comes to me and he's like 
we thought about taking a pregnancy test and I was like no I was like why would I do that I said I can't I was always told I couldn't have kids like something about between my weight and I was like there was a time where I thought with my abuse a-b-u-s-i-v-e boyfriend I thought always thought I was with child with him but I never knew for sure because we got into a fight and he pushed me like gross stuff was everywhere it was just like a whole mess but he wouldn't take me to the doctor and then wouldn't allow me to go to the doctor so and when I was older a couple years later I remember going to the OBGYN and I had she's like have you ever had a preg have you ever been pregnant blah 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 and I was just like I don't think so and she's like, what do you mean you don't think so? And I said, well, I'm not really sure. And she's like, can you elaborate? Like, how do you not know? And so I told her the story and she was like, oh. And then she was telling me like with everything that was going on. Cause I told her, I said, cause she was like, are you and your current boyfriend? She's like, are you guys active? And I said, yeah. And she's like, do you use protection? And I said, no, and I, we weren't. And she's just like, and where does the stuff go? And I was like, inside. And she's just like, and you haven't gotten pregnant? And I said, no. She's like, oh, well, you probably won't then because something. And then she was telling me. And then I did have an STD once from my ex-boyfriend. And um, I had chlamydia a long time ago. And my ex-boyfriend, surprise, surprise, was cheating on me, story of my fucking life. All my boyfriends and whatever has always cheated on me. And um, so he had given me this thing and I didn't, I didn't know. Um, so I had to get, of course, treatment for that and everything. And I had to tell him, that was like so embarrassing, but I'm like, why am I embarrassed? Because you're the one who's cheating on me. I now have proof and you're the one who fucking gave it to me. Why am I apologizing to you, motherfucker? You know, so, um, but yeah, so I went through that whole thing. And then because of that, and then the possible miscarriage that never got treated, she said there could have been scar tissue or something. I don't. I don't, I don't know and um and she was like so I don't know if you're going to be able to bear children so I was always told that I couldn't have kids and considering that I had some relations with some of my exes and they would do that to me and I always said that if I actually ever became pregnant then that was like the person that the universe wanted me with or whatever and that was the person I should be with and it would be for a reason and blah 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 you know all that happy horse shit stuff um but I ended up miscarrying the first time because I had a pancreas attack. So because I had this pancreas attack, it caused the miscarriage. And I remember I was in bed. Oh my God, I was in so much pain. I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I'm like, what the fuck, you know? And, um... I uh, called, I went to the doctor, well my, so by the time I went to the doctor, I should have been nine weeks, because I had my appointment set up and everything, and so I was like, you know, whatever, and then I had this issue, and I was like, oh, I was like, I think I'm having a pancreas attack, and I just remember being in pain that night. I'm like cramping, like really bad cramping, but it kind of felt like it was like just the pancreas. And I was like, oh, it's just, it's just I'm having a pancreas to hack. I ate something I shouldn't have, 
you know, whatever, whatever. And, uh, oh, but yeah, so when this is my ADHD, so sorry, but, um, hubby had told me, he's like, I think you should take a pregnancy test. And I did find out I was pregnant. So I made an appointment, all that other good shit. And I got, uh, medical assistance and all that. And cause my job at the time did not offer, uh, insurance for my position, but I had to have a letter of proof. I had to mail it to him. So I went to, um, the clinic and I got a letter of confirmation. So, um, but yeah, that confirmation letter that I was, I'm so full. I probably should not have ate that. But, um, but yeah, so I was like, oh, so I had like another pancreas attack and I was kind of heavy, you know, when I was found out, I mean, I wasn't, I was probably a little bit smaller than what I am now. I was probably like 250. Um, and she goes, uh she's like looking for the heartbeat and stuff and she's like I think because of your weight we can't find the heartbeat she's like there's definitely something there she's like the baby's definitely there but she's like I don't really see she's like I want you to go over I didn't think nothing of it because it was she's like is this your first and I said yeah I said I never never experienced this before and she's like okay and she's like, so I want you to go over. She's like, because we really need to get a reading to find out your due date and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, um, and she was like, and I was telling her, I was like, you know, she's like, have you noticed any pain or anything? I said, well, like two or three weeks ago, I said, I had, I said, I have pancreas issues. And I said, and I had a pancreas attack. I said my pancreas was like I had a flare up I said every now and then I get one and I was like I was kind of hurting I was like but it went away and she's like and when did you say this was and I said I don't know about like two or three weeks ago or whatever and she was like oh okay and um she's like yeah we're gonna need you to go you know to the doctors or whatever go get this ultrasound and I was like, oh, okay, no problem. So that's, I actually went over, my girlfriend ran me over. It was literally like right behind the doctor's office. And they're like, okay, well, and they did the ultrasound. And I was trying to look, but the lady wasn't letting me look. And I started feeling like weird, like started getting like weird vibes. And I was like, is everything okay? She's like, ma'am, she's like, the doctor will, you know, the doctor will come and talk to you, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, okay. And I knew right then, I was like, oh, this ain't good, you know. And um, so she came, I went over, she's like, she called me back in and she's like, okay, she's like, the doctor will see you you know, whatever, whatever, and I'm like, okay, and she, the doctor came in, and he was like, okay, according to your missed cycle, um, he's like, you should be about nine weeks along, he's like, you have a six-week fetus with no heartbeat, and I was like, what, and he was like, yeah, He's like, so this is what we call a missed miscarriage. And he's like, so your pancreas attack may have caused the miscarriage. And instead of your body putting it out, it just kind of, just kind of stayed there. And I was like, oh, okay. So it was like a whole thing. It was awful. So I had to go through that whole deal. But I don't know where that story time went or why I even got there. 
gotta love my ADHD brain. So, I'm done eating. I'm fucking stuffed. Took my medicine. Oh, I guess because of my food. Oh, probably why hubby doesn't like turkey. Because I didn't eat turk or I didn't eat beef for like 15 years. No, not 15. 2009. For 10 years. 10, 11 years, I guess. I didn't eat beef at all. Because I still didn't eat beef. Well, I still didn't eat beef. So probably 11 years. Maybe maybe 11 12 because i didn't eat beef because um until like even after my gastric bypass i started eating beef with my gastric bypass is when i started eating it so but yeah good stuff So yeah, story time's over. There's your vlog for today. <laughs> Cooking and story time. Okay, before I wrap up today's video, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to try the, what is this? Double fudge brownie bar from Atkins. I just took one out. I literally just pulled it out. And I was like, oh yeah, let's see how this one is. Cause the strawberry shortcake didn't go as well. This is like another meal bar, I guess. Meal replacement. So I don't think I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Oh, this one looks a little, this one looks good. It smells good. All right, let's see. What do you think, So this one starts off good. And something with that, like, that inside. I'm gonna eat just one cut. It's good. Mm. I'm trying to take for you to me what to eat today. We had a little chat this evening. So, um, and she's like, Are you gonna make my stuff? She also wants to make these chicken fries. But she was telling me what she ate today. I'm like, what did I eat? I'm like, oh. I had my pepperoni. I had a banana. And I had dinner. Now I'm having this. And that's literally all I had today. I keep forgetting to give the cows water. Like they have water, I keep filling it every night. Mmm. What are you doing? I don't eat crap. So. Mmm. Choo, choo, choo. What is up, friends? It may or may not be five o'clock in the morning, but I just got done editing. I've been trying to go to sleep and I like downloaded the first vlog and I just like kind of been laying here. So I was like, fuck it. I want to edit y'all's vlog. So <laughs> I have an alarm set for like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I don't want to sleep on it. And I to finish laundry and stuff like that and clean up and clean bathrooms and 
I don't want to sleep all day because that would also be bad because then I won't sleep tomorrow night either and you know all that stuff so on that note I am going to try and go to bed and download this um and maybe I'll get it uploaded tomorrow I don't know but yeah so I love you guys so I just wanted to say good night please remember to like comment share and subscribe and as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. Alright guys, I love you all oh so, so, so very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Good night. Bye. Bye.